710 ESPN Seattle presents The Calabro Show Warm-Up, powered by the law offices of Heidi Hunt. All right, we're ready for the warm-up. Uh, greetings, everybody. We're on from 3 to 6. Actually, 3 to 5. We have World Series baseball on tonight. Yeah, baby. C.J. Wilson on the hill again for Texas. Going to try to go more than four innings. Chris Carpenter pitching for the St. Louis Cardinals. How much baseball did you watch over the weekend in between previous amounts of football? Well, I missed all of Puholtz's three home runs. I missed yeah, that I entire some, game because I, I was, I don't know, my kids had a basketball game and I was on the way to CenturyLink Field to watch the Cougars. And then yesterday I watched a few innings. I saw it was Napoli that hit the home run. Napoli hit the home yeah, run after saw Tony that. again pulled his pitcher and again his bullpen let him down. First pitch. I thought it was a good move at the time, though, didn't you? He walks Jackson seven. was getting tired. He walked seven guys, and he, he had put two guys on. So, yeah, it was probably probably a good move. Tony knows his pitchers better than I do, I guess, maybe. All right, we're going to come right back with more of the warm-up after this. Back to the warm-up. Should uh, Washington State make a move at the end of the year with their head football coach? After watching Saturday, I firmly believe that they have to make a move. They have to. Uh, that team just, did, to me, didn't show any fire, didn't show preparedness that you would expect for a game that was being built up as a real pivotal game. In terms of them winning five, maybe six games and getting into a bowl. Just did not see it. Credit Oregon State, but they scored on what? Their eight, first eight possessions? Well, the punter didn't series. come out until a minute and a half was left yeah. in the game. So it was, uh, yeah, to me, it's the kind of game that gets coaches fired, particularly uh, when the coach has been there for four years and he has won how many Pac 12, Pac 10 games now? Three? Three and 28. Three, now. I think he's, what is he? I don't know, six and seven, or he's won seven or eight games overall in four years. Yeah, it's just, it's just not I, good. You know, I just, it's the thing is, I think everybody's having a hard time with WSU alums that follow the team. We all love that he's an alum. Yeah. We all know that he's a great guy. We all know that his, I mean, his dad killed his mother when he was 13 years old. He's had to live through that. He had a wife die from cancer. We all love Paul Wolf. But is the job getting done over there? That's that's what you have to wonder. And I, I don't want to see the guy get fired, but I don't want to keep watching shitty football the rest of my life either. Beep! How's that? Yeah. I mean, well, my God, we were just awful the other night. It, it was uh, it was not good. And, of course, now it's at uh, Austin Stadium this coming weekend where the Ducks have won 19 in a row. And you don't know who your quarterback is. And we're 35-and-a-half-point underdogs. 35 I think I might lay the points. <laughs> well, the Huskies were... I can't were, imagine uh, taking the Kooks. I could just see... Yeah. Can't you just see Oregon? Now, you and I go back to electric football. Oregon's like electric football, right? <laughs> I mean, the they, players go everywhere. <laughs> they go everywhere. That's what was happening the other you night, see, the electric football. You see the Cougars trying to keep up with them? <laughs> like, like you, you'd, have like, you'd have six guys over on the boundary just vibrating because they were just, you know. Well, yeah, there's always one guy that was going sideways, and, and you, yeah. he wouldn't move, yeah. and, and well, that, that'll be a Cougar defender on Saturday. And that's kind of the way the Huskies played against uh, Stanford, I thought, as well. You got a decent first quarter and then boy just unravel quickly for him we'll talk a whole lot about that and of course the Seahawks as well beginning with the Pete Carroll press conference at three o'clock boy did they look bad Woo! it was bad on bad on bad for the weekend 